Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in to another Channel 5 Extra Third Exclusive Reaction. Appreciate y'all being here. If y'all guys want to watch these reactions and be part of these live reactions, it's a little slow right now, but as you can tell, we got people in live chat on stream on Twitch. If you guys want to join us and watch these things live and all the reaction and be there, join Twitch, second link. Other than that, if y'all want to support the channel and me, consider joining Patreon. It's the only way that I make money and I do this full time because of Patreon. And this is a lighthearted channel. We kind of do everything. But if y'all guys want to see album reviews, music reactions, which is what I'm quote unquote known for, uh, consider joining the first channel where we do that exclusively over there. We just did, which one did we do? The Chicago Rap Festival. Now we're on the Utah one. Let's go. Ah! Made it to the front, baby! Made it to the front! Yeah! Let's go! Suicide! Suicide, boys, baby! I'm on tabs! What? I'm on tabs! Of what? As in, we're off to the moon, baby! Let's go! If I didn't know Parky, like Parky from Discord, that's exactly what I would think he would act like. The first dude's on tabs, the second dude's on tabs acid, so I guess he gets a pass for his behavior, but the first one... Acid! We're off to the moon, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Look at how sweaty and glistening he is. Bro, his body is screaming for water right now. Absolutely screaming for water. Fuck the church of the Latter-day Saints! Fuck the Mormon church! Utah on this bitch! Oh, because we're in Utah. All right. I was like, what? This is the story of the Utah pioneers. Who were they? What did they believe? I'm a V-Long thug. What does it mean to be a V-Long thug? A V-Long thug is the one that's, you know, you're hardcore, bro. A real life motherfucking thug, bro. That real thug life, bro. That V-Long thug life. V-Long thug life, bro. There is no fucking way. Oh my God. I want to gatekeep rap music and I'm not even black. I get it now. All the black people that I rolled my eyes at on Twitter for talking about gatekeeping, we got to keep it. I'm like, oh my God, here we fucking go with the gatekeeping shit. I get it now. You're not gatekeeping from me. You're gatekeeping from dudes like this. If you gave this dude a Glock with a fully automatic switch on it, which is minimum 10 years in federal prison, he would not even want to touch it. He would not want to be, a, he'd probably be scared. He would probably be nervous in that moment. It's the most Belong thug thing you've ever done. Man, I stole a pocket knife the other day. Why? Why not? The Belong. That should not be your answer to what's the most thug thing you've done is steal a fucking Swiss pocket knife. You stole something with a corkscrew and shitty scissors on it. Man, I stole a pocket knife the other day. Why? Why not? <laughs> the Crime Stoppers. Man, I stole a pocket knife. <laughs> Double V long thug it in. Be safe with COVID. Shout out Joe Rogan. <laughs> Double V long thug in it. Hey, be safe with COVID though. Don't want to lose any more of my thugs to the street life in COVID. Be safe with COVID. Shout out Joe Rogan, Eminem, and all the V long thugs out there, brother. V long. This is why people don't take Eminem's fan base seriously. Fuck, man. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Channel 5, for opening my eyes as to why people don't take Eminem's fan base seriously. Why people say that he's corny. This motherfucker said, shout out Eminem and Joe Rogan and the rest of the v Lone thugs in the same sentence. I'm convinced these dudes have never seen a black dude in their life. v Lone! gang shit. Murder gang shit. What's on your mind right now? You look goofy as hell. What does that mean? Big. In a good way? Like, I guess, depends on how you... What are you guys doing out here? Vibing out, talking to people, seeing what's up. So y'all just came here to do this? We had a hectic few weeks on the road, and after covering a few different events, we decided to come to a music festival to see what's going on. You, are you a cop? How do you feel about the police overall? Bro, what? Heroes. <laughs> I feel like if you're generally asking someone, like, why they don't like cops, you kind of fuck with cops. That's the vibe you're getting? I'm just playing. I, I fuck with Seattle, for real. Who's your favorite white rapper of all time? Bro, what the, who's your favorite white rapper of all time? Hey, yo, that suit is fucking hilarious. Look at the size of this suit. He looks like an after picture of weight loss pill that you see at two in the morning. Shout out Zan, I fuck with Lil Zan, he cool. You met Lil Zan? Yeah, he cool. He fucks with us. Does he? Mm -hmm. If I call him, is he gonna say bullshit? Yeah, call him. What's your name? Andrew. Oh wait, someone's FaceTime me, let's see who it is. 
Damn, I'm on, on, a, on camera. Don't answer my call. Lil Xan didn't answer? No. Well, it's not Lil Xan. It's like uh, his best friend, his roommate, or whatever. Oh like, my god, bro. I thought. Hey, can you call Lil Xan right now and see if he knows Andrew from Channel 5 on YouTube? Five degrees of fucking Kevin Bacon, but with Lil Xan. Well, it's not Lil Xan. It's like uh, his best friend, his roommate, or whatever. Like, he runs all this shit, you know what I'm saying? What if you can ask Lil Xan's roommate to tell Lil Xan? <laughs> ask. Lil Xan's ask Lil <laughs> the fucking tracking the tracking of the finger, bro. Can ask Lil Xan's roommate to tell Lil Xan. Ask Lil Xan's ask Lil Xan's manager to ask Lil Xan if he fucks with Andrew Callahan and Channel Five News. Channel Five News. Breaking news. Breaking news. You're watching Channel Five. Fire ass edit. With Andrew. Fire ass transition. We're here in Salt Lake City at the uh, Hive Music Festival. We've got wildfire smoke in the air. We got Delta in the building. The baby's not performing. And also, breaking news, the Suicide Boys are not performing. Anger continuing to grow tonight as the Hive Festival presses on. In the bad... This kid right here, definition, Suicide Boys fan. It's exactly what I think of when I think Suicide Boy fans. Rapper the baby will not take the stage tonight. It comes after he made homophobic comments a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, this was right after that. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone on. Nice yes, the Grammy-nominated rapper then suggested people with HIV die within two to three weeks. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that make you die two, three weeks, put your cell phone like that up. Fuck the baby. That is oddly specific to be saying, put your lighters in the air. Hey, if you don't suck dudes' dicks, put your lighters in the air. If you ain't show up with AIDS and all these different types of sexually transmitted diseases that have you killed in two to three weeks and you didn't do it on a Sunday afternoon when temperatures were around 73 to 75 in Salt Lake City, Utah on December 31st, put your lighters in the air. What? You couldn't just be like, hey, if you fuck with my music, put your lighters in the air. You couldn't say some shit like that. You had to go and say what you said. Um, I have a SoundCloud. <laughs> Follow me on Terror B. What kind of music do you make? Rap music. Terror B on the beat. Coming with the heat. Fuck that shit. I know I'm lit. Shit's got me on a trip when I'm coming with the shit. This shit will make you flip. How do we always find people that rap on this show? I feel like we've watched three videos and two of them we've seen random people rap. What do your dreadlocks symbolize? That me and my homie took the time to fucking actually do it and grow them this long. Why do you feel like people hate on it? I don't know why people hate so hard. Cultural appropriation or some shit like that. <laughs> I don't know why they chalk cultural appropriation or some shit like that. What's your goal for the night? For the night? To see Zilla. Yeah, Zilla. Yeah. What would you say if Zilla was standing right here? Bro, I'd give him a piece of my hair. I met this kid out there. I think he's your biggest fan. He wants to cut his largest dread off and uh, and give it to you. That sounds fucking nasty. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Bro, I'm so excited. It's just unreal. I feel like this is just fake. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Yeah. No fucking way. No fucking way, man. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm about to cut off a dread for you. Is it worth <laughs> the it? Editing in the so is it not? The audio choices are so A1, bro. Fuck, I can't get it, man. There it goes. I don't know what to do with this. It actually smells pretty good. It literally smells like shampoo. You can do a freestyle right now. Fuck no, I can't do a freestyle. $10 in your Cash App right now. Cash App, the best way to get paid for freestyling. Cash App, Cash App, Cash App. Fuck, my mind is racing right now. I can you freestyle. <laughs> Booty meat. Back row seats. Cup full of skeet. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga feet. Sitting by a big tree. Put dildos into thee. Bitch came from Italy. I can't think of anything. Metaphors and similes are like blades, cutting up the fucking instrumental every day, and I do my fucking thing. You have any tattoos? <laughs> nah, I'm only 17. That don't matter. I'm gonna get a shit ton, I know that, but I'm broke. I spent all my money on this place. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. What do you mean? He just gave you his dread. This seems like it was pretty worth it for him. Fuck everybody who didn't come to this concert! Fuck all of you! Fuck what? Fuck everyone who didn't come here!
Eeny, meeny, I'm a roll up a blunt, take a smoke. We could dance on a pole, on the floor, drop it low, run it back. We could boat. She want to ride the bro. Is that BB no money right there? She want to ride the bro. What does that mean? Uh, like she wants to have sex with my friend. She wants to have sex with me. Do you know your SPM? Uh, Haley, what's my SPM? Strokes per minute. At maximum velocity. <laughs> At maximum velocity. Seven. Seven seems a little low. Per minute? That's one like every 10.2 seconds. Mans is just in there feeling good. Like he should. Seven. Cap. <laughs> the, the fucking violin. You guys fuck with Zans? Hell yeah. I was at a music festival and I did like nine different drugs. That is, that is Young Gravy. I didn't realize that that was Young Gravy. We were going to make a softcore porn and I asked my parents. I sat them down. I was like, look, I have a really good music, music video idea. I need to make the softcore porno. And my mom was like, I have friends. My mom was super down for me to, there, she was like, yeah, do a softcore porn, it's all good. And then Ain't no way they just kissed and went right back to the conversation. <laughs> Swear to God, I have nut flaccid. I don't know how it happened. That's crazy. It was like, I just wasn't really trying to nut and I just nut. How and why? I, I did. I, I don't know. I just nutted. I just nutted. Where, where were you and what was in your visual field? Um, Modern Family. Fuck. I mean, we lying up all up and down this interview, bro. Do I look like I fuck, fuck with some funny shit like that? I don't get down like that, bro. Nah, hell no. You look like you... If there's anybody that gets down like that, it's this dude. DJ Tip is carrying on Prince's flamboyant style legacy. Man, is he popular because of his style? Like, is that like his gimmick? Is that a shtick? Hey, I don't know who this is, but he remind me yeah, of- Yeah, fuck her right in the pussy. Yeah, Jeezy World, bitch. Hey, yeah, Jeezy World coming soon. I'm about to go crazy, man. You nervous? There was not a single diamond. You nervous? Nah, 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 nah. Hey, I'm sober though. This is my first show sober. He ain't got that dope. Oh, Jeezy is Q. Of QAnon. He's the one who uh, infiltrated the entire government. You gotta get fly just to listen to the shit. Got a brand new Glock, Scotty Pippen in the clip, but I ain't Scotty Pippen. I be tipping on a bitch. Fuck her right in the pussy. Fuck your ass, nigga, why you listen to the bitch? I be fucking with these hoes and I flip them on my clip. Bro, who's making these dudes famous? Is this a SoundCloud rapper? I have no fucking clue what is going on right now. BB No Money, Young Gravy, I get it. But this motherfucker right here, dude is saying fucker right in the pussy. That's a joke from like five years ago. How are we still thinking that that's funny? There ain't no way, bro. He is the definition of Jay-Z saying, y'all pay real money for fake watches, shockingly. Can't keep my dick in my pants. My bitch don't love me no more. <laughs> All my favorite rappers are dead, bro. Long live X. I never had no role models. I never had no father figure, so I looked up to bro. I'm named after a motherfucker who wasn't even my dad. What's your name? My name's... Fuck my name. And all I do is fucking shoot videos. And hey, low key. Mad sad. You can hear the pain, like, behind the bravado. Y'all go home and call your parents. You say, hi, mom, hi, dad. You wake up, tell your mom hi. She fucking got breakfast on the table, waffles, eggs, all that. Me, no. That's how you think that we live? No, no I'm not saying I'm saying it's possible because me, I've never experienced that shit. And this never shit. had breakfast? No, I'm not saying I'm an orphan. I'm not saying I never had breakfast, but I don't go home to my parents and I haven't since I was a fucking baby because I ain't worth nothing. It's not true, man. I'm just worth what I fucking wear on my body. I just want to tell you, man, you're not worthless. I don't give a shit. My fuck. Hey, yo, this got stupid deep. Shout out John Bellion. The crazy thing is that this got to be deep down what everybody that we've seen who's a rapper here, deep down, this is what they probably think about themselves. That's why they always got to be drowning in lean and fucking drugs and cocaine and zannies because they're trying to run from the mirror, but the mirror ne the mirror runs the same speed as them. Well, what's your name? Kelly Binkert, Modern Edge Custom Cabinets. Right, we got modern. <laughs> why did they put it in there like that's... Something of notoriety under his name. Kelly Binkert, Modern Edge Custom Cabinets. How many times have you had your ass eaten? I haven't yet, but I'm not against it. So if XXX Tentacion came to you before his passing and had a homegirl with him when he performed in Salt Lake City, Utah, and he had a homegirl here trying to lick your booty hole, what would you say? I think this guy's really obsessed with booty holes. I think he really is, potentially mine. But I mean, who knows? I have been to federal prison, so. Oh, shit. Y'all can 
lot of Instagram. Y'all can't lie to me. What the fuck is this screenshot right here? What the fuck is this screenshot right here? Modern Edge custom cabinet. So we got their passports. We dug in our seat. <laughs> it kind of does go hard. Not gonna lie. Guaranteed. I still can't believe that I used to roll with these. I'm just looking at my watch. I would have killed for one of these. The only thing on my mind is pussy and alcohol. That is it. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> The only thing on my mind is pussy and alcohol. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> Weed is really good. Baby, try to double back on me and got a Heisman. Look at all these diamonds. I get big ten of cheese on my motherfucking plate like I'm dining. Fans running up on PJs, we playing pilots. Fuck LDS. What's LDS? The Latter Day Saints, bro. Why don't you the like Mormons? Them? I'm the Antichrist. Fuck. The Mormons, bro. Fuck religion. Fuck religion. What makes you the Antichrist? It's a great question. I like question. dressing edgy, bro. Good vibes. Good vibes, monster. I've been drinking this since I was 12. Why? Because caffeine is my addiction. God damn. I don't know if you can see, but her teeth are atrocious. I can see through them hoes. The enamel has just been stripped away. Y'all see like the dark spot on her tooth? Oh, yes! Vaccinated and ready to fuck! Fuck who? Anyone. Anyone? <laughs> Everyone here. Let's do it. This dude got me rethinking the whole idea that I wanted pearls. Single-handedly. Appreciate you, bro. You just saved me $400. I'm gonna be associated with this type of dude? Ah, I'm good on it. When we blow up... Remember these faces. Here we go. Sipping on Coco. Bitch, I go loco. Think that I'm playing. I fucking knew it, bro. As soon as he said when we blow up. Let me tell you something. Actually, I was going to say, ain't no way no white boy group cypher is going to blow up. But who fucking knows with the dudes we've seen in these videos? They're making everybody famous. Y'all boys hot on the internet. You ain't, you ain't famous to me. They call me Lil Zay and I'm here to get the pay. Because I'm fucking bitches and I leave them in the ditches. And I stay really fly. That's all I got. That's all I got. If that's all you got, then you don't got anything. We rhyme bitches, stitches, and ditches. Those are, if you ask me, hey, gun to your head, what's the first two words that rhyme with bitches? I would probably say stitches and ditches. This kid is not 10 parallels. That kid is minimum 17. Hey, got that, then I snap back, Racky, then it's slap beat, stop it, and go stop shit in the slime that I rock with, super toxic, box him like the oxys, and you know we pop in. I'm talking chicken. They know I'm robo, can't talk, cause I'm okay. in the pro Star Wars. I'm on solo, drugs eat, dressed in a polo, iced out, call me frozen, rap on a skrilla, say I'm a driller, walk in a party with all of my killers, run up, I stay in a villa, Glock 945, it'll short kill ya, fuck her appendix, my nemesis, you want some pussy boy, but you're not getting it. Yes, it is, but only if I'm spitting it, only be famous if you Bad little Barbie, I'm <laughs> Motherfucker is kind of spitting right now. Drop the other bros, say fuck them. You are Corday in the YBN click. Just drop all the rest of them and go do your own thing. He kind of spitting. A producer would probably take that and make it sound fire. Throw some verb on it. Throw a little bit of background ad libs. Might be kind of hot, not gonna lie. Some of the stuff I rap about may not be true, but it's what everyone wants to hear now. It's fine, bro. The, the shit that your favorite rapper raps about, especially in the SoundCloud era, that shit's not true. That shit's not true either. Don't worry about it. They're only gonna think it's not true because he's white. If he were a black kid, and this is just the stereotypical mind that Americans have, if he were black with the same lyrics, they would think he is being for real. But because he's white and looks like he's from the suburbs with the high socks and the vans and the fucking flamingo shirt, they're not gonna take him serious. I grew up with like an abusive mom mentally, physically, and she kicked me out the house for some dumb shit. I used to live in Ogden, and then I moved all the way down here with my father, and me and my father recently just got evicted from our, our house. And I was like out on the street, basically, and then I've this been my friend for like six years, and he told me, he was like, hey bro, like you really need a place to stay, like, like I got you, you like I got an extra room right now. And so I was like, bro, you're a lifesaver. And so now I've been living with him for a few months. What do you want to be when you grow up, bro? I want to be a famous rapper, actually. I'm on my way there. 300,000 views on two songs. When you say on your way, like how, how close are you? I'm still far. I got a lot of work to do, but I'm going to get there one day. What, how old are you? I'm 17. How old are you? Boom. This kid is not 10 parallels. That kid is minimum 17. Again, this is what I mean by the journalism gets serious.
at the very end, we get a real moment. This is like the journalistic version of South Park. It's all jokes and satire until fucking one of the kids has some kind of revelation at the end. And then it turns out that this entire episode had some kind of meaning after all. Yeah, I fuck with Channel 5, bro. This shit goes dummy. I could watch these hoes all day if I'm being honest with you. This is what the whole second channel is going to be about. It's going to be a Channel 5 all gas, no breaks reaction channel.